everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dishonored. So we're on our way to find High Overseer Campbell, or, well, kill him. <laughs> but in the meantime, um, we're just seeing what else we can find in the places around here. Elixir counts, next patch, Tubbard family, four doses, Kremlin family, three doses. So, okay, this is Griff past you. <laughs> so that's how many things they were getting. Even though they were fake vials, I guess. Well, not completely fake, but diluted down. Are you white? Yep. <laughs> Feels so weird to just eat the rats like that. <laughs> here, the bone thing. Around here somewhere. Oh, is this the same door, maybe? Yep. That's the same door. There you go. Uh, let's maybe see if we can put him somewhere just in case. I don't feel like our bodies have been discovered much yet. Well, I don't feel like <laughs> that was necessarily very useful. <laughs> but it's fun to carry the bodies around. Is there nothing else to do here? Here, the bone charm. What's up? How do I get there, though? Give me a second. I'm gonna read this first. The rat plague, extra from a natural philosopher's notes. For over a year, I've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by thousands, giving a rapid gestation and mature, uh, maturate, maturate, maturation. Oh my god, cycle? It's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immature to the plague. Immune <laughs> to the plague. <laughs> but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to ga gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats have lived by the plague. Okay, give me a second, the reading. Oh my god. <laughs> As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town in the slums exhibit the oldest strains of the plague, while those found near the docks where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered our city exhibit a stronger, oh, younger strain of plague. Interesting. Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that's not obvious? Yeah, someone planted this plague. I will continue my research if nothing else. I am living proof that Sokolov's Elixir and Piero's Remedy are very effective at protecting against the plague if one consumes enough of this stuff. Interesting. Yeah, someone planted it. I wonder if it's these guys. Oops. Oh yeah, I can use the horse. There you go. In there. Okay. No. Oh. Oops. I have a hard time knowing sometimes where I'm blinking to. Oh, that actually doesn't blink me to where I need to go. Is it giving me an arrow or not? Oh! There you go. How will I get here? I oh, I can climb this! really seem like it. How am I supposed to get there? From up there, maybe? Okay. From here? Maybe? Then I can try doing this. Okay. Not necessarily what I want. <laughs> Can I get there? Oh, oh no. 
That actually hurt me as well. But I feel like we can do this. I feel like we can do this. This is difficult though. I still need to get a grasp on my skill as well. Go. Maybe I can just do it from here. There we go. I feel like that's correct. There we go. Awesome. Uh, twist of fortune. Very rarely a potion gives you full mana. Oh, that could be good as well. What else do we have equipped right now? Better it's gonna be consumed. Power effects. Rain glasses moderately. I think... I'll do this instead. Okay. There you go. Was that all though? Is there nothing else to do here? Did it do everything there is to do in this place? That whole thing. That. Is there nothing else to do here? Oh yeah, we have those reds. I guess that's kind of it, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, the place wasn't as big as I expected. But I think we did most of the things that we wanted to do. Don't attack me! Don't attack me! Okay, I think that was it. I think we're leaving this place. Oh. Hello. Oh Keep God. banging around. See? You run off Maybe they heard me? I did drop a bottle, I think. Just when I took away the breaking glass one. So people can come back again as well. I really don't feel like killing them all again though. So let's see if we can just sneak past. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I suck at doing this. There you go. Okay. No, there's no one here. You guys are mistaken. Do you see anyone? Because I do not. You guys are gravely mistaken. You respawn though. That's so interesting. Okay. One here? Okay, I think that was all that we could do here. There's not a map, right? No, there's not a map. Uh, go to Bottle Street. The metallic mask from <laughs> I just want to read the information and the hints. That's all. Just want to read it. God damn it. <sighs> okay, then there's also a place up here. Hello, guy. Been there, right? Yeah, we've been there. Oh, I can't open this. Okay, interesting. Well, I guess that's all that we could do here then. And then we'll go to the offices. Which is oh, did I just miss these coins? Through here, I think. At least, maybe not. Maybe we can't. No, not through here. Right? Okay, so just climbing this then? Okay. We found another way through. The other side of the wall. Attention, okay. Dunwall citizens. There were the some guys here. We saw that before. And impounded by the state due to contamination. Here. Barrows, barbershop, and surgery. The That's where we could have climbed over as well. Merritt's printing firm, Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle Emporium, and the Smoke Street Dice Hall. Where are the guys? Here. Oh, there's a lot of rats. No 
want them to eat me though. Go away. Here's someone. Oh, is that coin? No. <laughs> okay. So there's here to go as well. There's so many places to go, guys. I am completely lost, basically, because I don't want to miss anything. I don't know where to put this body. Ah, you can just stay here. There's just so many places to go. The Empress. We need to go to the offices there. These rats could be a problem, but I kind of want to see if there's anything behind them. Oh, look at this. Something here, right? Oh, is there nothing? Is it just this door? But it... Hmm. There's a lot of guys here. Well, is it on? What's it look like? Blow off, Haber. Go on. <laughs> Lost the Ooh. damn rat already. <laughs> this is quite something. Yeah, I'm gonna throw him. Oh no 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 no! Wrong button. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. God damn it! Now I'm down again. <laughs> now I'm down again. God damn it! Okay. Well, I tell you I almost caught that guy who killed Let's go back up again. Taking one guy out now though. That's good. Other guy there. Oh, there is another one. Oh, this no. they don't look so very far. There you go. Oh, well, he was about to turn around, I think. Okay, now you go there as well. <laughs> it's our little body pit. <laughs> and this guy. Stand still. Okay. Oh, that's where I need to go. Okay. Don't want to go there yet, though. Taking out a lot of bodies, though. That's good. Oh, look at that. Don't think there's anyone else here anymore, though. Right? So this door I don't think we can do anything with. There's so much to do guys. There's so much to do. There's another wall of light here. We can take out the thing if we want. I'm gonna wait with that. I think we wanna go down now and see if there's anything to do down. And if there isn't anything there, we're gonna go into the office, I think. I think that's our game plan for now. Need to get past the reds. Anything here. Nope. Yee! A lot of music. Horrible. Ah! <laughs> Can I kill them in some way? I wanted to know if there was anything else there. Ow! 
be alone. Ah, I wanted to know if there was anything else there. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> I guess there was nothing there. Let's just say there was nothing there. Let's go climb to... <laughs> Dr. Galvani's offices. Oh, this is the flat that we need to break into. Cool. Ooh, look at this. A lot of people around here. Huh? Oh. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Plague. Ugh. Crap. Okay. It's one of them done. We'll snore over there. No, no, stupid god damn. Huh? Here are so many people. There we go. Okay. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of loot here. This looks like a place that will have a lot of loot. You go over here as well. <laughs> I enjoy making body piles way too much, guys. There's something deeply wrong with me. <laughs> there is something deeply wrong with me. I don't understand that it took me this long to play this game. I feel like this was made for me. Black jaw. Look at that. He looks like a kind man. Avoiding the rat plague. Excerpt from a government protocol on disease practices. Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bile from the river crust will protect against the contraction of the disease, nor is it true that the crushed morley orchids act as a remedy. Though it is speculated that both of these ingredients are used in both Sokolov's elixir and Pierre's remedy. Consumption of these products before exposure to the plague constitutes the only known means of resisting the disease. Further, the Abbey of the Ever... Uh, every man warns against superstitious practices. Not only is it ineffective to burn two hagfish and a cat together, <laughs> inhaling the vapors while chanting the names of the plague dead, but it is also considered heresy by the overseers and will be met with the full measure of the abbey's laws. Tell your neighbors and practice these things yourself. Avoid contact with the infected, consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report anyone suspected of carrying the plague. Everyone must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded contagion. Okay. Well, that hits very close to home right now. <laughs> very disturbing. That's a locker. Oh, another book. The third stricture. Excerpt from a work uh, detailing one of the seven strictures. Restrict the restless hens, which quickly become the workmates of the outsider. Unfeathered by honest labor, they rush to sort of gain vain pursuits and deeds of violence. Of what value are the hands that steal and kill and destroy? Instead, put your hands to the plow, the fork, and the spade. For even the lowliest labor that is rigorous squeezes the muscles as a sponge, rinsing impurities from the mind and body. Dang. Yeah, that's not too many rats. They really put the rats ready to use them when you have the skill, but unfortunately we don't have the skill. Someone here. There's rats at least. There's a lot of rats here in cages. Why? Oh, hello. Perfect. Good of you to come. Thank you. Now. Let's go see your buddies! <laughs> They've missed you! There we go. <laughs> okay, so that's another guy down. Guess he came from here then. I guess so. Okay. Now I can open this too. Customs and food of Morley. 
excerpt from the Traveler's Journal. Born and raised in Bristol, I spent my formative years in our smaller cities before settling in magnificent Dunwall. There, in the capital city, I learned to appreciate the finer things. When the opportunity arose to document my travels to Circonos, Tivia, and finally Morley, I left my position as a clerk for the late Lord Estermont. Perhaps, like so many in Dunwall, I suffer from being exclusively cultured, but I found Morley disappointing. Over the course of this journal, I will explain why I found the Festival of Churners to be tiresome, despite the high banners, bare feet, and red robes, and why their renowned Jellig's ox tongue is something I will be struggling to forget for many years to come. I mean, it doesn't sound great. <laughs> Blood sausage. Yes, please. Thank you. I have never eaten blood sausage before. Hair. Oh. So much to loot here. Oh, we're actually full. Uh, then we can do... There you go. Pick this up. There you go. Perfect. On. No. No. Oops. Not what I wanted. Pull again. Oh. Severed arm? But why? Entry key needed. Feeling log. Um, a sort of human remains. Strong appetite. One bag Tivian peers. Bruised, rotted. Rats uninterested. One tin potted wheel meat. Eaten. Human torso. No trouble finding corpses. Corpse parts. No feeding. Aggression increase. Incident of cannibalism. Incident with previous maid servant. Uh, will withhold feeding until first day, month of darkness. Jeez, so a lot of rats in here. I need to find a key for that, though. Okay. Oh, this room we've seen. Okay. Just on the other side of there now. So I need to find a key. If we want to get in there. I don't even know if we want to get in there. <laughs> Doesn't look like the nicest place to get into. Red. I think this will bring us to... Yeah, the same place. There you go. Okay, so we made a full circle now. We've explored everything down here. Except where the rats are locked in. So why are they keeping all of these rats here? I mean, they did say they had many red parts here, right? Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, nice. the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? Anyone That's else? nonsense. Can we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, Move on. it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. The mayor's new elixir is twice as good. I, I wonder if she's evil. I can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes Contrally. than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be Will like they see me if I there? blink? It is, isn't it? I hope Ooh. not. I'm telling you now, I don't have yeah, any endurance. Dies. Oh no. Huh? <sighs> what? No! Help oh! Me. Sorry. I don't necessarily want to kill you, to be honest. Oh god. Please help me. Oh god. I take this guy down. <laughs> I didn't really want to kill her. I didn't think that he could still see me on the stairs, which I guess is stupid. <laughs> I understand. I agree. That was stupid. Of course they see me on the stairs. My bad. My bad. At least no one came when she asked for help. Either there's no one here anymore, or they just don't like her. <laughs> That's possible. Maybe they don't want to save her. 
That's very possible. Let's make a circle first before we open any doors. Oh. There you go. Travel to Pandizia. Excerpt from a travel chronicle by Anton Sokolov. The men I set out with are good sailors. No doubt half of them have cut their teeth on the rascally pirate ship spawned in the Sarkonan archipelago. Or they were, I should say. Half of them died before we sighted the broken red cliffs welcoming those who would visit the far continent as it is called. Sickness, infighting, poisoned by a school or would one say flock of small fish that fly over the waves like birds. Oh, and they poison them? Jeez. Landing in hundreds across the deck, uh, pricking any that they touched with toxic quills. Two thrown overboard by gusting demon winds. The quiet Tivian navigator simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyes white with terror. Few have crossed the ocean and the distance to uh, Pandisia is greater than most would imagine. More died climbing the cliffs. And now with that, uh, and now with but a handful I stand looking across the greatest expanse of land that exists. My allies are frightened, for this is beyond them, and now their captain is dead too, stung by something that resembled a prairie mole, but reacted with great apocalyptic outrage when handled. So it falls on me to lead them. Okay, interesting. I don't see anyone here. Let's go in here first. Ooh. No one came though, so is there no one else on this floor? There's no one here then. Interesting. I should also be checking, of course, for um But nothing. Okay. Um nothing else here. Okay. Oh this did not lead to the room that I thought it would lead to. But there is indeed no one here. Oh, we need to find a combination. Okay. This is Clavering Boulevard. So we get back then. That brings us, I think, to the balcony, probably. So we need to find a journal, maybe? That can tell us... Where could I have found the code? Maybe it won't be on this floor. Maybe it will be up. That's possible too. There you go. <laughs> Just taking their pistols. <laughs> There's another door here, right? We haven't tried this one yet. That might be in here. Maybe here. Um, Dr. Galvani's journal. I've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course I won't attend. The 20th day of the seventh month, the month of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I will be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tivian red. So 28 7, maybe? Might be 287. We'll see. Try that. I don't know. Clearly, that was the most important day to him. So, oh, pocket watch. There we go. I think that was all. Now, let's see. We can open the safe with that. Here, 287. Oops. Eight. Seven. Might also be 728. I don't know. Oh, no. It's this. Awesome. Ooh, Ingas, look at that coin. Oh. That was some good coin. Okay, awesome. That was some really good coin. Now let's go up. There's probably going to be people here. Or not. I mean, the doctor must be here somewhere, right? This floor? Maybe he's not home. That's also possible. 
Okay. Go. Um, that's fine. Let's see. This is also locked. Oh no! Not a key. Okay. These rats scare me so much, guys. Uh, there we go. Now I can carry it. Look at this bust. <gasps> that's the high overseer, right? Or no, that's the. Is that Camp? No, not Campbell. That's the. Oh, I forgot to look through a hole. I mean the Spy Master. That's his name. For I forgot what he's called. Oh, Anton Sokolov, right? Wait, is that him? No, that's not the same as. Okay. I'm getting confused now. <laughs> this is a creepy place. Why is it all so red here? I don't like it one bit. I don't see anyone in here though. This is to the same room. Galvani's lab. What did she want us to take again? Just some innards? Why are we here? Galvani Academy note. Galvani, the latest case should arrive within a week, containing all the components you need. Be careful with the white phosphorus. Can't have you getting fussy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastards. Sir, you have to practice in secret. Uh, the visectionist should be celebrated. Revered, even. Cutting up rats should be done in a town square with a crowd of eager students taking notes, not in some dirty little secret room hidden behind a wall of books. Anyway, lucky for you to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need. But remember, it might be a month before I can put together another shipment. Yours in knowledge, Artemis Moore. Procurement Clerk and Provisioner, Academy of Natural Philosophy, South Wing. P.S. Next time you're nearby, come in for an afternoon. I've stayed fairly insulated from the plague. Uh, since so few come and go here, we've got quite a stack of TV and brandy. Okay, so behind books. Her place somewhere. Probably this one. Right? Looks like it moves. But I don't know how I would move it. Maybe they all look like they move. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I guess if I had a rat, I could get them in there. But that doesn't really help me right now. Whoa, there you go. No? No? Okay. Well, that's a shame. Ah, I'm so proud. I thought it was a globe. Okay. Anything else that we can do here? Empty bottles. Lab coat. A lot of bottles around. <laughs> The Rat Plague, excerpt from a natural philosopher's notes. For over a year I've studied this course of plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands, given their rapid gestation and maturation cycle. Oh wait, yeah, we've read this one. We've read this one. Go, can't take that. Let's actually heal then. Lab key, it's an audiograph player. Um, rat behavior and extermination. Excerpt from a series of interviews with street workers by Rat Catcher Lena. Rat Catcher Lena. Used to be, you'd go out with a bag, with, uh, a stick with a nail on the end, and catch as many rats as you could in a night. The city watch paid by weight. My husband Benjamin and I mostly worked alone, and we got by. If we found a place where the rats were real bad, sometimes we'd hire a crew of street rats to work with us. The younger ones who didn't make trouble, we paid them with bread and apple cider. Once the play came, the rats were different, meaner, bigger, and a little quicker. You had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they'd turn and a swarm would come back at you. I barely got away with my skin a few times, down in the sewers. The bites hurt afterward, but it was the sound they made that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous and the city watch started paying better, but that didn't last long because after a while, too many people had been stripped clean, trying to fill up a bag. One slip and they'd be all over you, gnawing and trying to chew down to the bone. That's how I lost my poor Benji. Jeez, yeah. They're evil, those rats. So creepy. It's 
something there. We'll try to open that bookcase. But guys, I think we will end the episode here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.